everybody's doing really, really well on this Monday. I am because I just got back from the thrift store. I found some awesome deals I'm about to show you. I have five bags behind me. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna start with the shoes that I got. I only got three pairs today because I'm, I'm really trying to edit how many pairs of shoes that I get. Um, because I haven't, no, I have sold shoes. Okay, I take that back. These were just really weird looking and interesting. Um, they're, they look like they've actually never been worn. I've never seen bottoms like this. I have no idea what brand they are. They had a second pair there that were like this. There's no branding on the inside, but it looks like real suede. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research, figure out what the heck these things are. But uh, they were only $4.99, so I felt like that was a really great deal. And I'm hoping, like I said, I'm always hoping just to triple my money, but I know on some of these items I'm about to show you. Okay, <clears throat> another pair. And they had a designer section at the place that I went to today, which I went, this was a different store than where I've been going, um, but they missed this pair because what they consider designer is like Coach, um, Michael Kors, things like that, but they missed this pair of Uggs. These are by Uggs and they're espadrilles. Super cute, uh, $3.99, and I am pretty darn sure I can get at least 30 bucks for these. I could be wrong, but I I'm probably gonna price them at like $30. Then, I don't know if you guys remember the pair of red shoes that I got um, from the other place the other day, but here is the blue version of them, just a little bit lower. I did figure out what they are, and I will put the um, brand name below. And they're, I mean, they're not cheap shoes. They're not expensive shoes by any means either, but I just like the look of them. They're just different. They, they just look different. So I'm going to buy things that look a little different because I think they'll sell. Okay. Next, we're gonna do some purses. Now, <clears throat> this is a brand I have never ventured into. I've never carried one, I know nothing about it, but whenever I looked at the comps on Poshmark and Mercari, they were selling for upwards 30, 60 bucks. So if I can get 20 or 25, once I wheel and deal, I'm happy. Um, especially considering that uh, I only gave 3.99 for like this big one, it's Vera Bradley. They have the bottoms still in it. The inside is in pristine condition. Um, so I figured for $3.99, if I can get you know, $25 or $30 for this, I would be extremely happy. Um, I think I dropped one. What did I drop? I heard something drop. Oh. All right, the next thing I got, and this was, um, I do believe, brand new because it's still got the silica packages or silica packs in it, but um, it is by the sack. Um, this is genuine leather, 100% genuine leather, and I got this for $1.99. Oh, I need to also say that I think that, okay, I could be wrong, but I think, <clears throat> yes. So these were actually discounted. So... This was $3.99 minus $1.60. So $2.39 was my cost of goods for a Vera Bradley purse. I think that's excellent. Um, on this 100% genuine leather, the sack, I got this for $1.19. And then also Vera Bradley in really good condition. This one oddly had a $1.99 tag on it. Uh, also inside great condition with the little bottom thing which I saw that some of the purses that because somebody must have just came and dropped a bunch of their purses but um, some of them did not have the little the little bottom thing and I think that that's probably important to people who carry this and these are awesome they have so many pockets on the inside I may just have to carry one um, if it doesn't sell because they're cute and then the last Vera Bradley I got, now this doesn't have a bottom, and I'm not sure if it's supposed to. Um, I'm just gonna stuff it to make it um, look nice for the photos and things. This one was only $2.99 uh, minus $1.20, which made it $1.79 for this Vera Bradley. And then I got a little coach wallet 
that is actually in excellent condition. And um, I don't want to give away my secret, but I do have a way of cleaning a uh, coach and I will show you what I did. Okay, um, I got this one for free from a friend um, and it was disgusting on the outside. It was, there was so much brown, which actually you can still see just a little bit of it. So I need to get that spot right there, but I did my trick and got it looking wonderful. So I will be selling this and I'm gonna do it with this one, but this was, I paid 89 cents for this. 89 cents. Okay. Um, then I found this, which I paid a little bit up on it and I wish I wouldn't have now because I'm just now noticing that this rope is kind of, um, but I may be able to somehow repair that. I have no idea how I would do it. But my gosh, this thing is gorgeous. Um, in fact, I wonder if I could cut this off and just sell it as like a little handbag, but it is definitely vintage um, and it is in excellent condition aside from the fraying, but beautiful, beautiful. So $3.99 minus $1.60, I paid uh, $2.39 for this little guy. So I probably paid up a little bit too much for that. This is the thing I'm most excited about as far as the purses go. I gave a dollar seventy nine for this. Now, folks who know designer brands may recognize this, but it is Escada. It is Escada. Yes, 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 it is. I'm so excited. I'm gonna put on the screen the only other one that I saw um, and how much it was selling for. Again, $1.79. Holy crap. Okay, first bag of clothing items. Oh, shoot. And like one of the better items is on top, so I'm gonna wait for that one. Um, I found this a very cute pair of capris that are by the North Face. So I think these will do pretty darn well. Um, and I believe the price on the Capris were $2.99, so not too bad. Then I found this 100% linen pair of Capris with mother of pearl button details and all important pockets, of course, and it is by the brand Habitat. So that should be a really good sell. And then the last pair of pants that I got are iris jeans. I did not find any comps for these, but I thought that they were pretty stinking cool because they're very, very stone washed. They've got the elastic and they were in excellent condition, uh, new without tags. So, um, and by gosh, if these don't sell, you might, find me in them because they're really, really cute. This next item is actually for me. What do you call these? A uh, basic cotton H&M tube top. I just, I like little tube tops for the summer and I thought that this one was just really cute because it's just basic. Next, I'm gonna have to do some research on this um, because this cotton is so incredibly soft. I'm not sure who the, it's made in Turkey, 100% Turkish cotton. So, but it, it has more see. Um, so I think this should do pretty well. I'm gonna definitely look it up and see what it is exactly. These next two items, um, this is gonna be more of a specialty item because these are actually biking brand. Um, so people who bicycle um, and it is She Beast. Uh, and I found two of these. The cool thing is they've got like a pocket in the back. I'm, I actually don't know what that would be if you're bicycling. I feel like if you're leaned forward and then you stuck like a phone or something back there, then you'd lose it. But I probably have no clue what I'm talking about. Uh, also, another She Beast. And by gosh, this one's cute. 
if I was a cyclist, I'd be wearing that because I love me some leopard print. This next top, I don't know anything about the brand, but I got it because um, it has embroidery and it's scalloped on the edges. And I know that embroidery is selling pretty well. And actually, this might be 100% cotton. No, it's 100% rayon. So I think that rayon is pretty desirable. Um, Alice Blue is the brand. And watch, it'll be something from like Walmart, but that's okay, it's really cute. I will wear it if it doesn't sell. This next one is White House Black Market. I have already sold three pieces by White House Black Market, so I know that in my closet this will do okay. Um, but it's a really cute, very cute for summer. I just think White House Black Market makes for um, business for uh, business attire. They make very nice, classy-looking clothes. Oh heavens to Betsy! I dropped this expensive thing down on this ground. Okay, the next one is just basic, but I got it as just um, a bundle piece for my closet. Um, also, I know that. Um, Gen Z, they really like American Eagle, and this was just a really pretty top with buttons, and it actually looks brand new, like it hasn't been washed. The tags are in excellent condition. So I just kind of got that as like a little staple piece. Um, same with this one, which is also American Eagle, but I actually got it because I kind of think I might wear it myself. Um, this is really cute. I'm going to, I'm going to do some things a little bit differently and start photographing myself in some of the clothes, um, to see if it will boost sales. Not that my sales, I'm, the Lord has really blessed me, but anything that'll help. I did get a mannequin. Um, I was gifted a mannequin and so I've been using her. She's called the Baroness and I've been using her, um, and it's going okay. I just, I think that some things look better if you're able to kind of maneuver your body and things. But I got this top, I think, for myself also. Because uh, I really like tops that have like the, the crisscross thing in the front. The brand is Kaylee. I don't know what that brand is. So I'll research it. And if it seems like it's a good brand, I might sell it. But otherwise, I actually bought it for myself. Um, and then another White House Black Market piece, which, of course, love the leopard print. So I got that. So that might be a cute, people will bundle the White House Black Market stuff together. Here is one of the most exciting items I got today. And it is in pristine condition. Um, I don't know how I found this. Roberta Cavalli. And it is gorgeous. Let's see. So this is an authentication sticker. Um, it does guarantee the authenticity of the item. <sighs> Praise you, Lord Jesus. I, I don't know how I found this. Like, it makes me want to cry. I also want to point out that the one piece that I found in my first thrift haul that was, um, I don't know why in my mind at the end as I was reading the tag, it was that, that dress that I couldn't quite figure out. It was a Paco Rabanne and it was from his 2006 runway show. And so I, I saw that the, um, the list price of the dress originally was upwards of $6,000. Um, they're selling them on the real reel for like $13.95. So I've got to get a hold of the real reel. The real real. I did try to get the real real to do a video appointment with me, and um, they didn't call me back. I made two separate appointments, and they they didn't call me back. So it's made in Italy, obviously. It's Roberta Cavalli, um, and it's lycra and ninety three percent silk. <sighs> Holy crap! You guys, how gorgeous is that? 
that's very, very exciting. Oh, and I just noticed it's got the name on the... <laughs> In fact, I'm going to hang this up really quick because I don't want to drop it on the floor again. Okay, now that I feel safe that that's not going to have something happen to it. Okay. So I got a few items because I just want to have something different in my closet. This is a Hello Kitty branded tank top. Um, and it's, it's for women. It's just a size small, I think it says. Yeah. And, oh wow, it's made in Turkey. Okay, this next one's kind of exciting also because it still has the hygienic protection on it. And it is by Pretty Little Things, or Pretty Little Thing. And um, I didn't even see a bodysuit listed, but uh, everything else that was listed was listed for a pretty high dollar. So um, it's nylon and elastane. Woohoo! But wow, I will not be trying this on. Okay, this next piece is also going to be just kind of a closet staple item, which is J. Crew. Or no, I'm sorry. And Taylor Loft. Um, it is a petite. I actually really like this shirt, even if it was for myself. So, you know, if things are gonna sit for a while and I really, really like them, by gosh, your girl is going to wear it. And this is 100% cotton. So the great thing is people are looking for, you know, really well-made clothing that's made with good fabrics, cotton being one of them. I'm probably preaching to the choir here. Here is one of the staple pieces. I knew I got a piece of J. Crew, but I also got this maybe perhaps for myself. But um, I just thought that it was just a really, really cute top. I paid $2.99 for that Roberto Cavalli. Um, I paid $2.99 for all of the tanks that I'm showing you actually. So seriously, yeah. Here is a 100% uh, linen made in Hong Kong. Um, with the dry cleaning tag on so that I can't see the brand but I'm gonna buy it if it's 100% linen very very desirable pursuit limited so not sure what that is but I thought that this was super cute because um, it's sewn in such a way that it almost it means to have imperfections which I think is the point of linen and but this has like a tie in the back so very very cute Okay, and I got a torrid top, and mostly because it was only $2.99, and um, it has embroidery. And this next bit, I won't bore you with going through individually. These are all Nike dry fits in a few different types of styles and an array of sizes. Larger ones. I would prefer to start having some larger sizes in my closet. Okay, next, again, because it's embroidered with these darling little buttons and it is a cute little jumper with pockets and it is by the brand Urban Girl. I know nothing about Urban Girl so I'll just have to look it up. This is an Athleta top. I know Athleta sales pretty well, Sell, sells pretty well, so um, I went ahead and picked it up. Here's another piece. A Viscata. I, I, don't, I don't know how I got so, no, I know how I got so fortunate. The Lord blessed me is how I got fortunate, but... This is uh, in pristine condition. It is meant to have these beautiful little flowing pieces on only one side. This is a stinking gorgeous top. It's beautiful. Another one I'm gonna hang up before I drop it. All right, last bag. Okay, first thing is a Michael by Michael Kors t-shirt that has a crisscross detail. These are very heavy metal um, 
I don't know if you can hear, but it's in very, very good condition with the Michael Kors thing on the back. I did pay up just a little bit for the short sleeve shirts. Um, they were $4.99. So I, I was very picky and choosy about what I got as far as that. But the Michael Kors one, I think, will be good. Uh, next, I got an Echo Tay, which is a um, shoot I saw. Is it Anthropology or Urban Outfitters? I can't remember who. I'm learning, guys, so please don't read me for filth for not knowing exactly who makes what. But um, I do know that I, I've been... I've been reading up a little bit and that this is a good brand and it is going to be 100% um, rayon. So super, super cute there. I should do pretty well with that. And then um, this is a Zara and it does have like some white dust on it. That is going to come off, I made sure, but it is um, Zara Basics made in Portugal. Uh, so I know that Turtlenecks are very, very in, and it's super cool because it is a short sleeve. I think that's going to go really fast, and that material is so soft. It is 95% uh, cotton and 5% elastane, so that's why, because it's got the elastane in it. Okay, this next one I got because it was also a linen. This is La Fille du Couturier. Um... I don't know much about this brand. I'm going to have to do some research, but it is a linen top with that's kind of a uh, asymmetrical high-low. The reason that I purchased it was because whenever I got in here to the inner label, I did see that it's made in Italy and it's 100% cotton. So I, I got it because, um, well, for $4.99, I don't think you can go wrong with something made in Italy, but we shall see. We shall see. Uh, this next one I got because the bow and the sleeves are 100% silk. It is by the brand Yucca. This is actually the front of the top, and then the back does that. So very, very cute. And I believe I can triple, at least triple, my uh, $4.99 spent. This one is 100% silk by the brand So Stanza Contemporary Apparel. I know nothing about this, but it is a size medium. It's an oversized button-up with pockets, and the silk is in absolutely perfect condition. But I thought that was very nice for being 100% silk. And then this next one is also 100% silk on the inside. This is a crazy soft velvet. Um, this looks like couture when you turn it inside out, which I did at the store. And so um, for $4.99, I went ahead and picked it up. The um, Lin Ling is the designer of it. Um, and so it is acetate and viscose with 100% silk lining. Um, and it has this really beautiful like sheen to, this light really doesn't pick it up very well. And I know these lights are terrible and it's because that mirror is in the background. It's catching the light. But I didn't want you to see my mess over here, but to at least be able to see the sheen just really, really pretty. Okay. All right, this piece I'm kind of really excited about because it is fully stinking vintage. Um, it is one of those early, late 80s, early 90s, crazy feeling shirts. And I think that this will do well. I'll uh, pair it with the mom jeans that I have on right now. I think it'll look really cute. I think that'll do well. And then um, they had 40% off of all of their long sleeve. So I went ahead and picked up a piece of Abercrombie & Fitch just to have as like a staple closet piece. Um, something cheap to bundle. 
uh, because on my closet right now, I think on Sundays I'm gonna run uh, flash sales and uh, choose three items to bundle, you get 30% off. Currently I've got uh, two, if you bundle two items, you get 15% off. So it'll be nice just to have like cheaper pieces in there so people can bundle. Okay, this is, do I remember what this is? Oh, this is Zara also. So I thought this was absolutely stunning. Kind of ruffles on the sleeves. Um, it's still got the extra buttons sewn on the inside of it. So this is 72% cotton and 28% silk. So I thought that this one would probably do pretty well. And I'm gonna go ahead and get it listed today because it is long sleeve along with the Abercrombie and Fitch. And then, um, and then last for long sleeve is this uh, Michael, Michael by Michael Kors top. And as you see, it's got uh, details. These are very heavy also. That would hurt if you flung your arm hard and hit something. <laughs> and I probably wouldn't have picked it up if it wasn't Michael Kors because it is 100% polyester. And I wouldn't even shop for polyester. All right, guys, that does it. That was my haul. I'm so happy with the items that I got. I'm, I'm very happy. I won't tell you the total because I'm not happy about the total, but um, I'm sure if you did some gorilla math in your head, you could figure it out. But I will say, I still have not spent any of my own money. I started my closet, I can't remember if I said on one of my last videos, but I began my closet because I cleaned a woman's house um, and not only did she pay me to clean, but she had recently had, um, a BBL and pretty much a full body lipo. And so she was going to be purchasing an entirely new wardrobe. And she gave me, I want to say there was five full bags of clothing items and two bags of shoes. And so the bulk majority of the clothing that she gave me was Lululemon and most of it was new without tags, and some of it still had tags. Um, and then also tons, of, I think a full trash bag full of Victoria's Secret lingerie that still had all the tags on it. That is selling like hotcakes. A bunch of Express, BKE. Uh, so I'm very, very happy with the fact that I, I was blessed with getting those things for free and listing them in my closet and making all of that money with my cost of goods being zero. And so I still haven't had to spend any of my own money. I'm still taking profits with the three thrift hauls that I've gotten. I'm, I'm still in the money that um, is profit. So I don't think I'm going to do any more shopping for a little while, uh, probably a couple of weeks. So I, I won't have another thrift haul I guess next Monday but um, Mondays will be the days that I get thrift hauls out if I do them and uh, so maybe next Monday I'll sit down and just kind of talk about everything that has sold and um, my process and all of that I really enjoy watching a lot of the other resellers on this platform they are awesome they I am a total amateur compared to them but I'm learning so much and I just feel so blessed to have found this as a means of part-time income and I'm really blessed to have run across you know other resellers on the platform because it's really 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 helped me a lot so okay guys have a wonderful rest of your week